Hello, I'm Alia, Communication Manager of Puge Figo. This year, I am invited to 9th Flare Annual Meeting by C4 with Ibu Chandra Kirana, the founder of Yayasan Sekar Kaum. There are more than 25,000 forest-based village in Indonesia. In 2020, I joined Sekar Kaum Research Team in Bringing Tinggi Village, Jambi. The diversity of species in the forest support the community's culture security. They use it wisely to make traditional dishes, medicine, household equipment, and even their traditional house. But we found that the diversity in their forest is decreasing along with the growing trend of clearing land for almost monoculture plantation of coffee and cinnamon. Economic pressure has become one of the main reasons. They want to make money quickly even though it is not necessarily sustainable. The community realizing they have mostly flipped planting coffee and cinnamon so that they are starting to lose their forest as well their cultural wisdom and aspect of their life slowly fading. Well, we believe that the diversity in their agroforest has an economic potential, but first they need to understand deeply what it contains. We believe by building the dataset of the diversity in their forest, then processing it wisely based on the cultural knowledge, they will be able to create their own sustainable village economic development while strengthening their culture. This research continues to be developed until this year. We got the opportunity to present it at Flare Annual Meeting in Nairobi, Kenya on 12 to 16 October 2023. This event was launched just prior to the landmark climate conference of parties in Paris by 2015. The mission of FLARE is to advance knowledge at the intersection of forest and livelihood and facilitate its application to policy and practice. The theme for this year's meeting is linking research and action for preserving forests, trees, and people. On this occasion, I also presenting our Puge Figo program in Ngada and Nagekeo Regensis, Flores. We establish cooperation with local farmers who are committed to plant organically using agroforestry system, allowing them to maintain the ecological benefit while creating economic development. We determine the model based on the needs and character of the land to optimize potential while considering sustainability through demonstration plot, training, observation, regular monitoring, and of course, developing database. Agroforestry system with a diverse species within the growth can be complex. We combine aromatic plants, herbs, forest plantation, and many other, then database used as a basis to plan the economic development for the farmers. Through fair trade, we guarantee that farmer get prices at least 15% above the national market. Then by adapting traditional medicinal knowledge, we transform the diversity in the agroforest into products. That is our effort for thriving forests, trees, and people. It was a great honor to meet organizations from all around the world and discuss with scientists about one same mission to preserving the forest and developing sustainable livelihoods.